Hello, hello, and welcome back to my happy place. I've been naughty, and I bought the naughty palette. You know, I don't even remember who made it. <laughs> That's how bad I am. Is it Huda? I think it's Huda. Let me get it out of the packaging, and we'll see. it says. I suppose I should check that stuff before I turn the camera on. It'd be very helpful. I wasn't going to get this, but I did buy it in the Sephora sale. This plastic is so hard I'm afraid I'm gonna I'm going to cut myself. You don't want to come out, do you? You are naughty. Okay, here we go. Naughty nude. I'm going to go with Huda, but it's, yeah, Huda. <laughs> this is the packaging. I'm bad. <laughs> and, oh, this is just such a naughty palette. Okay, there's no paper inside, and you're actually getting a close-up view before I do. So I did my base except my blush and my lipstick because uh, I didn't know where this look was going to go. Oh, oh, it's really pretty. All right. Um, I think I'm going to start with uh, Filthy, <laughs> which is this one. Let's see. And what am I forgetting? I'm forgetting to pull you in closer. The cat stopped to look at me because she's wondering who I'm talking to. Do I have you in close enough? Let's see. Yeah, that's as close as I can get, I think. Hello, kitty kitty. Hello, kitty kitty. I'm not always a big fan of Huda. I didn't like her pastels at all. I actually gave them away. If you hear a little jingling noise, that's her collar. I have to dip in again. Just using that color as my transition. I might have gotten a little bit dark, but I'll blend it out. I hope I wasn't blocking the camera. I always do that. I'm sorry. Sometimes I have to hold it here. I get more um, wrinkled on days. I took a Valium this morning because I'm on a new medication and I went to bed at 11.30 p.m. I woke up at 3 a.m. and could not get back to sleep so I just got up and I have to be very quiet in the house because everyone else is sleeping and the noise just travels. So I just kind of like sat around and watched YouTube to myself till 9 a.m. and finally I said I'm taking a Valium and I'm gonna try to go back to sleep and I slept for a couple of hours until I had my alarm set at 1 p.m. Eastern Time the Jeffree Star palette went on sale 
I think I have that even. So I guess I got my Jeffree Star palette. Now I want a smaller one. And it's funny because I just picked up the same brush. And I, I think I've been using the Wayne Goss brushes. And I'm going to go into the crease with uh -huh. Juicy, I think. Right here, Juicy. We'll see if that gives any payoff in the crease. I don't know about your weather today, but oh, it was rainy and miserable here today. Not a heavy, heavy rain, but um, just rain all day, just drizzle, rain, drizzle, rain. Since my eyes are a bit hooded, I always go a little bit above the crease. back into that. So I don't know if I finished my thought, but I'm always more wrinkled around here whenever I take a Valium. My daughter has started with her house. She went to closing. So she keeps thinking they're going to be in by Christmas. I don't think so because the house needs work. And plus she's opening up a new business, a new pizzeria in Oyster Bay. So I don't see how she's going to... Uh, manage everything even with her husband because he works full-time so in the pizzeria in Wanta, my husband's pizzeria so now the lid no, I don't want to go that color I am I know I always lean towards pinky colors but I think I'm going to go into this color and that is called uh, Desire. Now, from past experiences with her, it's very soft, almost a little wet, not wet, but moist, not, I'm not saying that right. Past experiences with her shadows tell me I should use a finger. And that's not giving me any payoff at all. Let's see. I have a... This is a uh, Sephora. It's like a rubber tip. I'm going to try that. Let's see what we get out of that. I think that's a little better. Even as I'm pressing into this shadow, it's like um, almost like it looks creamy. You know, when you dip into cream. Am I blocking? I hope not. It's like creamy and I'm making all kinds of dents in it. But that's pretty.
I'm glad I have this. Like I say, it has like a little rubber tip. I'm glad I have that while I'm using this because if you could see, it does stick on here, but it really didn't come off of my finger. It stayed on my finger and didn't transfer over to my eye. And I think I'm going to have to blend it out a little bit because I think it's causing texture on my eyelid. I wasn't expecting that. I'll, I'm going to show you the damage I've done when I finish. What I'm doing. Hmm. Let me get a brush just to blend that out in case it decides to have a stiff one. In case it decides to dry up on me. Yeah, I don't really like the texture on the eye. Let me show you what I did to it. It's up here. If you could see, I made a huge <laughs> dent in it. And I actually think it's, um, what the heck is that? That's weird. It's called slippery. this one and it's just weird I am going to do the uh, outer corner I've been using this Wayne Goss 10 for that so I'm going to go out in the outer corner with um, I'm going to try spicy anything. Hope everyone else had better weather today than I did here on Long Island. That is the sheep a doodle stomping around. Okay. Now, for some reason, I can't even see that transition color anymore. <laughs> Where did it go? It's there a little bit, but not much. Where'd it go? I'm just going to go back into the one I used in the in the transition. First one I used cuz I don't know where it went. Okay. Now, let's go under the eye with uh, just find the correct brush. I was supposed to clean my brushes and I didn't do it. I didn't do it and I'm sorry because all my brushes are mixed up, all different brands 
and now I can't find my okay here's the skinny again I'm going to the Trish McAvoy uh, very old angled I guess it was either an eyeliner or a lip, bl lip brush and I'm, I'm going to take that um, spicy and just go along here I go really, really close to the lash line. Okay. And I'm just going to, what I do with my little rubber brush. This is just another one. This is another one by Sephora, but it's a fatter one. If you could see, it has a... And I just want to dip it into that color slippery and see what happens. Because this here is just so weird. It is like a slippery cream. And nothing really happens. It's just like a clear, you can't even see it. I put it here and it's just like a something clear. I guess I'm going to have to watch some videos and see what it's for because I have no idea. Now, I'm going to use a pink blush. Um, yeah, I'm going to try the Wayne Goss again and see if this time as some people told me I should have tried to build it up a bit and this time I'm not knocking it off because when I knock it off it just like knocks off and I just want to do that because that's what I always do not a lot of Not a lot of payoff with this. I guess that was a little more than I got last time. Whoops! Let me just get a... fluffy brush here and... Okay, that, that did leave pigment. It left more pigment since I did not tap it off. Because last time I used this, I was tapping the brush. And then I noticed that um, all the powder just came off. So this, is, this is, has more... So I guess that last time was user error. Don't tap the brush off when it comes to these. So it does leave, it does look a lot better. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the highlight color and I'm just going to put a little bit in the corners. And that really doesn't work so well in the corners because it has too much of a pink shift to it. So I'll try it up here a little bit. Not 
liking that at all. <laughs> what did I do? Do I have a brush to take that off? I may have to use a Q-tip to get that. Since I have this tiny brush in my hand, I'm going to put a little bit here. I think that's the tip with these blushes to get them to be pigmented. Um, and I know this is an eye brush and I'm using it for something else. But lesson learned that I cannot use that in the waterline because it just has too much pink in it. And it's the only place, yeah, I have to use Q-tip to get that out. So let me do my eyeliner and mascara. Oops. And I shall be right back. And I'm back. I am going to use a bright lipstick. This is um, Hot Commodity. One of Jeffree Star's new ones that I had shown it in my last makeup video, I think it was. And this is a very bright pink. But because it's such a rainy day, I'm in the mood for a bright pink. Now this time I'm ready for it because these go on very dry. So don't try to, you know, like do that with your lips because it's not going to go anywhere. Your lips are just going to get stuck. It's, it's raining out and this even pulls when I'm trying to put it on it like pulls I don't remember his other formula acting like that and just let me I don't make a boo-boo. This one's not too bad. I was able to do a burst of lips. Also, this is not as uh, matte as the other one I used. But I am going to take Oh boy, is that the tiny writing? Oh. Anyway, I'm going to take this one, which I believe I got in the mystery box. And I'm just going to go over it. keep thinking that's lipstick there but what it is is I got a small bite outside when I was outside and it happens to be almost the same color as the lipstick so this palette I'm not impressed I found um, that desire this one left texture on my lids and I, I, I didn't I didn't like that so much 
Um, I don't know, Huda and I don't seem to get along. This, this is just dumb. This is just a clear, uh, I don't know what it's for. It's like oily. So you couldn't even use it as a, as a base for your makeup. It's just oily. And this shimmer was so soft um, and creamy. The others don't, the others don't really feel like that. Not like, like this one did. So all in all, I'm kind of sorry I bought it. It's nice to have it, but I'm kind of sorry I bought it. What else did I use on my face? I used the Dior foundation today. And it seems a little darker and more yellow than when I bought it. I almost feel like maybe I let it go for too long and it changed color in the, the thing. And I used the uh, e.l.f cream contour. I just used, um, let's see if I can get it, ouch, that hurt. <laughs> I'm having quite, quite the to do with opening things today. And I just used this lighter color here. And I, I just really used it here. Then I went over with the uh, Jeffree Star powder, the new one, the shiny one. I went under the eyes with the Jeffree Star concealer. And what else did I use? I used uh, P. Louise base. Now I'm getting myself all confused. I used the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I use the, um, I'm trying to use it up, so I use the Hank and Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner, and it's, believe it or not, it's starting to dry out. And then I use, oops, why do I have three things here? Uh, all right, that's, I just bought this, um, Givenchy mascara. I used the, uh, a new e.l.f. primer, eye pr lash primer underneath it. And this is such an interesting, interesting brush. It's a little round brush. And I, when I s saw it, it looked so interesting. And I said, oh, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can use that. When I opened it, I said, oh, Whoa. But it made the lashes really nice. It thickened them. It um, lengthened them. And it wasn't hard to use on the lower lashes either. It, it was quite actually quite nice. I'm quite impressed. Much better than the Kevin Aquan I used last time. So I am going to open some boxes next. Otherwise I'm going to get in real trouble. <laughs> I just have too many boxes. I think I overdid it on Ipsy this month. I must have ordered a lot of um, extras. I think maybe for Christmas. So I'm going to say thank you for coming to my happy place and joining me to use the new Huda palette. And happy trails until we meet again. Bye-bye.